So you've built this beautiful website with WordPress and you just need to change a couple of text labels to complete your masterpiece. Now the issue is you don't know where to change these text labels and you're slowly losing your cool. Well today I will show you how to change text labels in WordPress in just a few seconds. And yes, all for free. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astro team and as promised in the intro, today I will show you how to easily change text labels in WordPress. Now let's take a look at what we'll cover in this video. You will learn how to change text labels in the WordPress admin, but please be responsible with this new power. How to change text labels from a plugin, like changing this by this. And how to change text labels from a theme, like changing the labels of the single blog post or the text labels from single custom post types. And by the way, if you're interested in building an IMDB-like website with your own custom post type database, watch out for future videos on this very channel. And by the time you're watching this video, it may already be out, so make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now before we jump right in, let me set the context because that may help you down the road. So to simplify, WordPress is a solution that can be broken down into the WordPress core, WordPress plugins that add new features, and WordPress themes to display your website. Now, depending on which label you're trying to edit, you may be able to do so in the WordPress admin or in the plugins options or in the theme options. Now, what happens when you can't actually find any place where you can edit these labels? What do you do then? Well, let's now talk about the solution. And this solution is called Local Translate. So in the WordPress admin, go to plugins, add new. Then in the search field, you want to type Local Translate. Next, click on Install Now and Activate. Awesome! Now, as mentioned, you can edit text labels at various levels. So let's start with the WordPress admin labels. So in the WordPress admin, you want to go to Local Translate, WordPress. Then you have several options here like Development, Administration, Network Admin, Continent and Cities. We want to change Administration. So click on New Language and you get a message that says Template Missing. But no panic! All you have to do is click on create template then click on the create template button great now we can go back to administration click on new language again and now we get to this screen now you choose a language click on a drop down and select your preferred language now the local plugin as the name suggests can be used to translate strings of themes plugins and the wordpress core but in this case we just want to edit labels in the original language so it says here the install language for this WordPress install are just the English from United States. So I'm just going to click on that. And the next option is choose a location so that the language file can be stored in either this or this option. But I'm just going to leave it by default. Next, click on start translating. And now in the filter translations field, I'm just going to type dashboard. Here it is, but bear in mind sometimes you have to look because there are several instances. So let me go back up, click on dashboard, and now you want to hit the shortcut Command plus B on a Mac and Control plus B on a Windows or a Linux PC. And now I can start editing. So let me I my from my dashboard, click on save and click on sync. Next, I'm going to refresh this page. And as you can see, it's now my dashboard instead of dashboard. As easy as that. Next, for demonstration purposes, I've installed a plugin that allows you to add a sitemap to your website. Now I'm going to show you how to change the labels that can't seem to be edited anywhere else in the options. So I want to change this. I want to change the by by per. So back in WordPress, you want to go to local translate, plugins, WP sitemap page, and here we have a few languages, but we can't find English United States. So let me go back up. Let me click on new language. And just like before, we get this message saying template missing, but you should know what to do now. So just click on create template, click on the create template button. Now let's scroll back up. And one more time, let's click on new language. And now you can select the install language. In my case, English United States. I'm gonna leave the location as default and click on start translating. Now this is the text I'm looking for. So I'm just going to copy this and back in WordPress, I'm just going to paste this text and here it is. So let me click on it and you should know what to do now. Let me click here, hit command B on a Mac or control plus B on a Windows or Linux PC. And now I'm just going to replace by by per. Click on save and then click on sync. And now if you go to the front end and refresh, there you go. 
super easy. Okay, now I'm on the front end of the MIDB website and if I go to blog, then I open a blog post. So let me scroll down and as you can see here, we have the next post and previous post labels. So how do I change this? Because this is at the theme level. Well, very simple. In the WordPress admin, you want to go to local translate themes, click on the name of your active WordPress theme and we're using the Astra theme. So click on Astra, then click on new language. And once again, you want to select the install language. In my case, it's English United States. For the location, I'm going to leave the default option, but feel free to change it if you prefer. Then click on start translating. Next in the field, I'm going to start typing next. And here I see next page or next with a variable. Now don't panic. So it's actually this one, because as you recall, it says next post and not next page. And we only have two options here. So it's easy to spot which one is right. So let me click on this, then I'm going to click here. And once again on a Mac, I'm going to use Command plus B. And on a Windows or a Linux PC, you'd be using Control plus B. So here, let me edit the text. It's going to be the next. Let me save. Next, I'm going to type previous. Same thing. Let me click on this one. Then let me click here and use my shortcuts. And once again, let me edit the text. Let me hit save. And let me click on sync. Now let me go back to the front end and let me refresh this page. And as you can see, it now says the previous post and the next post. So it worked. Now on this website, I've created a custom post type called movie. And if we open a movie and we scroll down, it now says the previous movie and the next movie. Whereas before I made these changes, it said previous movie and next movie. And that's simply because the labels are the same. It's just a variable that changes. And the variable is this. So of course you could change it, but then it's gonna change also for the blog post. Let me show you. So I'm just going to remove this and type show. But as you can see, you get a prompt here saying missing placeholders, but still we're stubborn and we're gonna save because we want to. Then hit sync. Now let me refresh in the front end and great, it says the previous show. But now look what happens if we go back to the blog, open a blog post and scroll down guess what? It now says the previous show, whereas here it says the next post. And that's because we removed the variable. Now, if you've made that mistake, don't panic. All you need to do is click right here where it says previous with the variable. And then one more time, you hit Command B on a Mac or Control B on a Windows or Linux PC. And then you can edit again, but just make sure you leave the variable. Then save, hit sync. And now if you go back to our blog post and refresh, it's back to post and not show. Okay, now that you got this far, there is still one more thing to do. And it's simply to show this video and this channel some love. It's free, fast, and would make my day. So now changing labels on your WordPress website should have no secrets for you. But please enjoy your new powers responsibly and don't do things like this, like this, or like that, because that's gonna be a mess if you do so.